I call Senate. the member for Clark. Deputy Speaker, I recently met with six young unemployed Tasmanians who have prepared a report that should be essential reading for every state and federal politician. And to that end, I promised these talented young women and men that I'd hand deliver a copy of their report to the federal treasurer, and I'll also ask to table a copy at the end of this statement. Deputy Speaker, the Real Youth Survival Report 2020 was prepared as part of Colony 47's Backswing project and shows how Tasmania's housing crisis impacts young people's lives, <coughs> mental health and chances of landing a job. What it brings home clearly is the unsurprising need for much increased investment in social housing and for unemployment benefits to be raised permanently to above the poverty line so as to provide a genuine living income. Deputy Speaker, the report makes shocking reading. For instance, many young Tasmanians recount being homeless, breaking the law to get a place to sleep, feeling their lives were threatened due to homelessness and not being able to afford rent. They skipped meals, couch surf and can't afford to see a doctor. They're genuinely in financial stress and, of course, their mental health suffers. For example, they write, I have panic attacks over money daily. I can't afford therapy or to see a doctor. And Youth accommodation services are rife with young people who fall into the missing middle of mental health care. Why are we not doing more to support them? And I was made homeless at 16 when my family kicked me out and I ended up couch surfing for a few months while I was trying to complete my year 11 exams. Deputy Speaker, income is obviously central to this situation and it's clear that unemployment benefits must not fall below their current level, which includes the $250 coronavirus supplement. It certainly mustn't return to New Start's $40 a day because when the rate of employment support is that low, you're creating a hard barrier to employment and sentencing young people to a lifetime of poverty. Frankly, we're setting these young people up to fail when they can't even afford the bus fare to get to a job interview. Deputy Speaker, the federal budget, I think, was a missed opportunity to address these fundamental challenges. It simply beggars belief that Australia is headed for a trillion dollars in debt and yet we have still not addressed two major causes of poverty, i.e. the severe shortage of affordable and often supported accommodation and the woefully inadequate government pensions and payments in particular for the unemployed. Deputy Speaker, the young homeless and broke men and women of this country genuinely deserve a break. Until politicians do give them that break, we let them down terribly. Deputy Speaker, I seek leave to table their report. Is leave granted? Leave is granted. Thanks, Deputy Speaker. And I Thank you, Government. call the member for Hughes.